All right, guys, I'm going to give you a, a little walkthrough of uh, my garage. This, I guess, you would call my uh, dream garage slash man cave. Um, I bought this house. The, the garage was pretty pretty beat up. The floor was gross. It uh, wasn't insulated, no lights. Just your standard uh, uh, two-car garage, basically, on a, a split slab. You can see here where they we had to kind of join the slabs together. Um so yeah, I'm just gonna walk you guys around, show you uh, what's what's possible in a two-car garage. Um, obviously, I'm not a rich guy; you can tell by my house. But uh, you know, I still wanted a nice place to to work on the car. I still do a lot of stuff out here. From um, I mean, I've put clutch clutch in the car out here, the fuel system. Um, you know, some pretty some pretty big projects have gone down in this garage uh, in the winter, even. So you know, I got heat out here. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what this video is going to be about. Um, just took the car out, data logged it, got a new tune, uh, from VMP, trying to work out some bugs. Car is, uh, running awesome right now, uh, strong as it's ever felt. So, uh, first thing I get asked about a lot are these, uh, these blocks that you see. Uh, I'll cut to a, a, a picture of the car on those. So yeah, these uh, these blocks I think are much safer than using jack stands for one, and they get the jack stands out of your way. So um, you know you can get under the car a lot easier. They get the car higher. Uh, I just feel a lot safer um, with the car on those versus being on jack stands. So um, if anyone wants the the dimensions for those or the plans, let me know and I can I can send you those. They're really easy to make. Just some two by fours and some screws, um, and and you'll be good to go. You can go even higher than that. I've had them one one uh, block higher, uh, and you can get the car really high. Like I said, I, I dropped the transmission out of this car a couple times so far on those blocks, um, and that shows you how high you can get it. Granted, I had it on the bag so I could raise it up pretty high, but yeah. So uh, Conley Banner. Uh, in a past life, I was a pretty serious competitive water skier. Still do a little bit, but uh, not as much as I used to. Uh, all of our bikes, the two-year-old's little Strider bike, uh, my eight-year-old's BMX bike, Kink, my BMX bike. It's a Sunday, wife's live mountain bike, my giant mountain bike, and the eight-year-old's mountain bike. So do a lot of mountain biking in this family and BMX riding, I guess, so. Uh, the floor in here is race deck. I did this myself a couple winters ago. Super easy. The stuff is awesome. Uh, anyone that's thinking about doing race deck, you can't go wrong with this stuff. I mean, I, I it's it's unbelievable what it'll take. You know, with uh, being able to jack anything up on it, wipes up really easy, cleans up super nice. Uh, I love it. It's it's badass stuff is is bomber definitely i think i did the entire garage for twelve hundred dollars too um and that was with the the lip up front back here i just got my cheap little welder uh just do you know small stuff with that i'm not much of a welder but uh if i need to do something in a pinch i can definitely do it um with that just uh, my welding gear in here, flap wheel, got a grinder down there, uh, some torches, just basic, basic stuff. Like I said, I'm, not, I'm not, not, a, not a serious welder by any means, but I can do it if I need to. Um, this is my old toolbox. This was actually my grandfather's, who was a engineer at Ford for 50 years. Uh, when he passed away, this was the one thing I wanted, so I got his toolbox. This is the, the old toolbox, but I, I still use it. Uh, that's actually Gramps right there working um, working at Ford back in the day. Uh, really cool. So yeah, this is uh, the top drawer. This is what I tell my wife if this stuff is out. Some taps, <laughs> some uh, extraction stuff. Uh, I tell her if she sees any of these tools out, not to bug me, because probably having a bad day, tapping dives and um, some more, some more in here. This is full of full of taps. Uh, overflow of sockets. 
Uh, just some Allen wrenches in that one. Uh, drill bits. Uh, Allen, Allen's in here. Torx bits. And uh, these are just uh, ball headed Allen's. Metric and standard. Uh, screwdriver drawer. It's an important one. It gets used a lot. <laughs> Uh, overflow of wrenches, basically. This is all older stuff in this box. Uh, the hose drawer, everyone's got one of these, right? Air lines, fuel lines, leftover wire. I always like to hold on to that stuff because you never know when you're going to use it. More overflow. Tools that didn't fit in the other boxes. And then uh, stuff you, you know, Ford tools, the hammers, <laughs> hacksaws. Some overflow down here, some pullers, uh, soldering iron. Uh, this is my old car. Some cool pictures that Alex Tillman took. That was a uh, big turbo, Garrett Turbo, uh, GTX 2867, uh, meth injected car. Uh, super fun. Kind of wish I still had that. All this uh, metal you see around here, um, all this cut out stuff in the garage, this is a, a local company here called uh, called Speed Cult Detroit. Check them out. They make all types of this cool, uh, I don't know if it's water jet cut or uh, laser, but really awesome stuff. I have a ton of it in the garage. Every time I go to, go to something over there, I end, up, I end up buying something. Uh, this is theirs too. Really cool stuff. I think they did that too. This is one of the wrenches I found in that toolbox of my grandpa's. Uh, says Ford right now. Really cool. A bunch of, he had a bunch of Ford tools in that box. I've been cleaning them up one by one just, just to hang on to them. Uh, light. little piston that's cleaned up on there. Just some random stuff on the ceiling. Gears for my bike. Some old water ski stuff. Here's some HPL oil. That's what I use in the Mustang. This stuff is top notch. Uh, probably the best oil I've ever used. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of guys are running that. Four four thousand horsepower builds are running it, so it's good enough for them. It's definitely good enough for me. We got over here just some miscellaneous, uh, you know, parts bin stuff. This is airlift parts. Uh, you know, clamps. Stuff I just hang on to, you never know when you use it. Washers, miscellaneous stuff in here. I uh, got the game out here. I have cable in the garage, of course. Game seven in the final, so if I yell, St. Louis scores again, sorry. Just some small wrenches up here, stubbies, uh, crescents in every size, valve stem tool. Angle gauges to set my fin on my, uh, my Conley water ski up there. Some old water skis up top. Uh, this is the new toolbox I just picked up. So it's actually my son's changing table that he grew out of. We bought him a toolbox for his changing table, uh, which has now graduated into the garage. Got the laptop out here. I was just looking at logs from when I just uh, grabbed some data logs of the car. Some chargers for uh, all the different uh, screw guns I have. A couple of their uh, power tools, bore scope and stuff like that. That'll run. So uh, this toolbox is is the new box, so it's nice and organized. Uh, top drawer. Uh, this is an angle gauge for setting uh, fins on water skis. Uh, flashlight. Every toolbox should have a good couple good flashlights in it. Magnet. Uh, extensions uh, crucial <laughs> definitely buy a couple of those this is a uh, camber gauge just a you know cheap uh, eBay camber gauge for uh, getting the car close um, you know when you lower a car before you can get it to the alignment shop um, compression tester every car guy should have one of those uh, e85 tester content tester been using that a lot this spring. Been getting really good E85 here in Michigan. It's been like E88. Um, and just some, you know, more uh, 
as you can tell, <laughs> maybe a little bit overly organized. Uh, these bins are just all, uh, you know, parts, vacuum lines, um, some injectors in there, stock injectors. But I just like to keep everything organized so I know where it's at if I need it. There's nothing I hate worse than wrenching on a car and, and spending half the time looking for parts or tools that um, you know we're in the garage. So I know where everything's at in this garage and I can get to it quick. Uh, this is the socket drawer. I have everything uh, in here from quarter inch to three eighths to half uh, in metric and standard sizes. Uh, some bigger sockets over here. Got uh, spline, spline wrenches or sockets for uh, getting the lugs off the car. And these are these are really cool. These are uh, hollow sockets. Uh, really good for doing like uh, spring perches, things like that, where you need to get an Allen key in the end of it. Uh, definitely pick up a set of those if you don't have a set. Those are lifesavers. Uh, just these are just all swivel tools, uh, small extensions, reducers, um, some wobble wobble ends. And just some random uh, bigger sockets that I, I use a lot. So they have found their way into uh, the socket drawer. This is all the ratchets. Uh, this probably gets used the most. It's your 3 8 ratchet. Uh, stubby, I use that one a lot too. Guys that have done headers on a coyote know that's, a, that's an important one. <laughs> Definitely. Um... I really like this guide too. It's a fine tooth, really nice uh, quarter inch swivel. Like that one a lot. Just extensions. These are just extra socket sets. If I'm traveling somewhere, I can throw in the car a quarter inch, three eighths, uh, breaker bars, and a cheap uh, torque wrench. This is the wrench drawer. Just some ratcheting wrenches, and um, then standards, obviously uh, standards and uh, metric some wrenches. Uh, down here, a few different screw guns, drill indexes, uh, impacts, another uh, air air. Uh, Ratchet. I'm gonna actually try to pick up one of these fuel uh, cordless ratchets too. Uh, it's got a bunch of breaker bars down here. Um, pry bars, I mean. This is. Uh, this is spring tools. Crescent springs. This is uh, another important tool around the around the garage. Uh, definitely pick yourself up one of these. This is a uh, bore scope. This is in Milwaukee. The screen on this thing's awesome uh, for looking into the cylinders or you know whatever you need to look at inside the motor. If you're not uh, tearing it apart, uh, this thing is really awesome. The the light on the end of it is really bright, so you can light up really dark places with it. Um, love that thing. That was one of my favorite tools I have for sure. So that's that toolbox. Over here is uh, cleaning supplies. So um, really anal about this stuff, as you can see. Uh, what's up here? Some wheel cleaner, uh, fabric guard, uh, stripper scent. Everyone needs that. That actually smells awesome. Um, this stuff is all for polishing. Um, pad cleaner, conditioner. Uh, clay luber this afterwash if you don't have a, uh, a a coated car is is really awesome um helps with beating really uh brings out the shine uh you spray it on when the car's wet it's awesome uh adam ceramic boost you guys have heard me talk about that this is hands down my favorite uh product on the market right now coated car or not the shine you get from that stuff is unreal the protection's amazing um on wheels it looks it looks so sick on wheels these wheels um are coated in that and they're just they look wet they're it's it's unbelievable and they they're actually pretty dirty right now by my standards but 
Um, there, that stuff is sick. What else we got up here? Uh, some polish. This I use this polish a lot. Uh, I know some people have some stuff against Chemical Guys, but for an all-in-one, this is probably my go-to, most go-to polish. If a car doesn't need uh, much, that's that's awesome. Hydro Suds, this is new from uh, Chemical Guys. The best soap I've ever used washing a car. <laughs> it might sound crazy, but this stuff is amazing. It's actually really thin, uh, watery almost. But man, the suds you get from that and the shine, even like I said, even on a non-coated car, I use it on my HHR, it's epic. VRP, everyone knows VRP. Uh, I go through a bunch of that. Just normal Adam's Car Shampoo, Mr. Pink, uh, Fabric Cleaner, um, Butter Wet Wax. I don't think I've ever used that. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. Uh, and then Meguiar's, um, it's just a little bit thicker cutting compound. I actually use that on the Cor uh, last Corvette that I did a correction on. Uh, over here, some Adams products, another Ceramic Boost. Been going through a lot of that. Um, Iron remover. I really like this stuff on the Fiesta because of the brakes. It gets iron all over the back of the car. A white car, that takes it right off. Some all-purpose cleaner, interior detailer, uh, tire shine, and wheel cleaner. Here, uh, this is my go-to. Whoops, this is my go-to uh, quick detailer. Just a synthetic from Chemical Guys. Uh, P40. I don't think I've used that forever. This stuff, for you guys that don't want to do a ceramic coating on a car, this is the best thing um, best thing out there uh, next to ceramic boost. This stuff is awesome. doesn't last as long, but uh, super easy to wipe on, wipe off. Uh, it's awesome. I did a buddy's bike with this. It came out wicked. Uh, some spray wax I haven't used in forever. The wheel cleaner, a speed wipe, uh, and uh, just a, a bottle of Reload. Uh, C quartz cars. And this is the uh, toolbox. This is a new polisher I just got. It's just a cheap uh, three inch for doing wheels, uh, DA wheels, and you know small things that I can't get to with um, with the big with the bigger guy. And just all different types of uh, pads. Uh, depending on what you're doing. Cleaning brush for the pads. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, microfiber for cutting. It's just some, uh, some brushes for those small areas. These pads, you can't ever have enough of those. This is all my drying towels. This is kind of the C quartz, uh, the, the towels I like the best for taking coating off. Uh, next to next to those, um, wheel coating from C quartz, uh, just their normal coating, clay bar, some more towels, and then just uh, this is just a drawer full of microfibers. I kind of have a color code for all that stuff. I'm weird about that. Some more art from those guys. Speed Cult. Really like. Stock flywheel from the Mustang. Uh, There's just random stuff in the garage. Just the stock header for my car. Stock exhaust manifold from the 66. Old steering wheel. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, this is, uh, this is kind of my spot. Sit out here, have a beer, watch the, watch the game. Watch the sunset uh, out through there. But uh, I know I've had some people ask about the garage, so I figured I'd to give you guys a quick little walkthrough of uh, my little sanctuary. <laughs> Got some cool stuff coming this weekend as long as the weather plays ball. Thanks, guys.